Okay, I am, I've got some vegetables here. I'm sorry for the color, but there's some cabbage, tomatoes, some uh, that orange yellow, bell, orange bell pepper, and some chicken breast shredded up. And I have my butter and my egg, and I am cooking some bacon up right now. I'm going to show you. I made this this um, while ago. While ago, probably. I'm gonna set this up so you can see what I'm doing, and I don't have to hold the phone so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm cooking up this bacon. I made this a little bit ago, and it was so delicious. I thought I would let you know how I did it. Don't ask me the macros on it right now. It'll vary depending on what you, bacon you use or chicken. But my bacon is about mm, almost there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my chicken in there. It's already cooked. The chicken's already cooked. So that's a good thing. I did use spinach earlier. So this, I imagine any vegetable you want to use. Um, this would be considered, I guess, low carb, but also very healthy because it's got good carbs of vegetables in there. And everything. I am going to add a little bit more butter to this because, you know, I'm trying to do keto. It's hard because you like to eat, right? I like to eat. And sometimes I like to eat sweets. But if I eat enough fats, I feel better. But I have my egg. And I'm going to let the, the bacon cook till I turn it over. I'll turn it over. And then I'll start adding the other stuff. Because I want my meat um, pretty much cooked before I add everything. But yeah, I did use spinach earlier with the tomatoes. And if you have a bunch of tomatoes that's um, greenhouse tomatoes and they don't taste as fresh, they don't taste like garden ones, kind of bland, cooking them is a good option, in my opinion. And then another thing is, if you use tomatoes, don't cook them in an iron skillet or you ruin it. So that's halfway done. The bacon's halfway there. So I'm going to go ahead and add, turn that over. I add some of my vegetables. I've got cabbage here. Cabbage takes a wee bit to cook, so I'm going to add it on half of this. And what really tasted good is I didn't scramble the egg. I fried it. Think, man, this can't be healthy, but you know, my body responding is responding well to when I don't eat a bunch of carbs. Um, I seem to do pretty good. Um, everybody's different, everybody's body is different. So, I've got cabbage in there on one side. I don't know if you could see it with everything. So, got the cabbage and the chicken mixed up already. I'm going to go ahead and put the bell pepper, the bell pepper, orange bell pepper in, so it can start. I'm going to throw the tomatoes in, probably last. I'm going to, let me, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to add a little more butter, because, you know, this is, was like my first meal today. So it's, it's really good. Um, was so delicious while ago, I thought, I need to share this with everybody that may be trying to come up with some ideas on what to eat. So this would, I think, be keto. If you want to add onions to it or other vegetables, carrots, I mean, shredded, any vegetable will go good in this. And I have bacon grease in here, so I'm going to go ahead and crack my egg and hopefully not mess it up. Let it start cooking. Let me go throw this away real quick. Alright, I'll wash my hands here. Oh, it's looking great. I'm going to get some salt out. Because when you're doing keto, you start losing a lot of salt and potassium and different things. So, you want to add those back. Um, you gotta, cause if you're, cause, I don't know, for some reason, carbs hold on to a lot of water. So, you'll have a lot of excess water. And if you're doing no carbs, you are start losing a lot more water weight. So my, my egg is fine. I'm doing like it's a little bit, the yolk is a little bit runny. 
Um, I normally, I really need my eggs done because I can, I've been sick from eating bad eggs. But my cabbage and, and everything else is cooking up nicely. I'll show it to you in just a minute. I just want to get this egg turned over before it's not able to be turned over. So I am not really the best egg turner, but I'm going to give it a try because I tend to break the yolk. Oh, goody, goody. I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to show you this, but I'm going to go ahead and throw my, my tomatoes in there and whatever else is the vegetables I have in there. All right, so let me get the camera here so you can see this. See, I have my eggs and my tomatoes and there's my bacon's hiding under there and it gives it a really good flavor i'm hoping the cabbage i think the cabbage will do just as well as the spinach but you could do any vegetable i would think would work out well and get these tomatoes cooked down some mm -mm, you talk about yum i'm gonna probably get my egg out of there first so i'm gonna go ahead I'm going to get ready to get this egg out of here. So I'm going to sit you back down. All right. Sit you back down so you can observe from a distance instead. And then everything. So let me get my egg out carefully as I can. The egg is on the plate. Okay. Now... I'm going to bring you back over there so you can finish watching how I'm cooking this. That was cooked chicken breast in here, shredded, some bacon. You can use turkey bait, whatever bacon you want. Bell pepper and cabbage. But use whatever vegetables you want. And that bacon and everything get a good flavor. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. And, and it is pretty healthy. I mean, it's not vegetarian or nothing, but it's, you know, not for everybody. I wish the lighting was a little bit better. If I turn on this light, will that help? I don't know. But, yeah, you could do any vegetable you want. So, if you're wanting to see the whole finished product on a plate, just skip ahead. But I want to get these, egg, these tomatoes cooked down because these tomatoes taste terrible. Um, just fresh. Somebody gave us a bunch of these tomatoes and they're just from a greenhouse. And they don't taste too hot. So let me put you back down because it looks like it's ready to come off. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. Alright. Let me move that. Oh yeah. This is so good. So good. I am saying, just throw a bunch of vegetables in with some uh, tomatoes and some bacon or something and eggs all together. And the and the little bit of a runny egg yolk actually I thought tasted pretty good. It's not for everyone. Not everyone can handle that, and I can't handle runny egg whites because they're so nasty, so nasty. Well, let me go ahead and move it back over to my other counter here and hopefully get you better lighting in here. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you and hopefully it will be better. I don't know. So if you can't see this, I'm sorry. I'll try to take a regular picture with better lighting so you can see, because it looks really better than probably what this picture is, is giving it. So, all right, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to stop the video now, and like I said, just throw a bunch of stuff together, vegetables, and some chicken breast, or something, and an egg, and, and you've got a nice, I say keto-friendly meal. I will catch you later, and enjoy the food.